Tom, you're here today to make the quarter-final draw for the NatWest Schools Cup. Um, what are your memories of, of playing schools rugby? Um, lots of positive memories of schoolboy level. Um, you know, uh, played at Woodland School in Coventry. A um, couple of uh, heroes from there, uh, Neil Back and Danny Grucop. You know, they were school heroes really. They had their shirts up at the um, in the in the trophy cabinet there and their, their caps. So, you know, really looked up to those guys. And we had a huge culture of a sporting culture. Rugby in particular was very strong. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, had some real positive mentors there. A guy called Paul Harrison, a guy called Mike Thomas, you know, they really went above and beyond in terms of giving us opportunity, uh, giving us technical coaching uh, tips, but also, um, you know, we went on great tours to Australia. We followed the Lions there. Neil and uh, Danny were both playing. So, um, you know, it's just a great school for rugby. So special memories in terms of at that point in your, your life, you're aspiring to play for the school team. You know, your, your England ambitions are a long way away. It's just getting that shirt and the, the school shirt first of all. Yeah, exactly. I was, I was saying in a recent interview, really, um, when I was asked what's the biggest game you ever played in in your life, and it's really hard to quantify because um, obviously I've you know I've played in big games out here at Twickenham against the All Blacks. Um, I've played in my debut in the Millennium Stadium, but uh, you know at the time it's all relative. And I was uh, I was playing for my I remember playing for my school against Bablick, a local school, a bit of a rival in a, in the Coventry Schools Cup and um, you know at the time it was the biggest game I've ever played in, biggest game of my life and uh, it meant the world to me so uh, you know I remember a guy mentioned Mark Thomas giving a pretty rousing speech and uh, you know being close to tears on the way out of the changing room so um, you know it meant an awful lot, there's a lot of emotion involved and um, you know they're, they're my big memories of childhood school rugby. What do you remember about the Tom Wood from playing those days when you were 17 in the under teens cup or 14 in the under 15s? What, what do you remember about that guy? Uh, pretty similar to what I am now I suppose, um, all gusto, pretty gangly, rangy uh, runner. I think one of my football teachers called me crazy legs, uh, which probably isn't you know, too untrue now out there on Twickenham pitch. So. Um, you know, I was uh, a lot of energy, um, I'm probably known for being a bit too intense at times, um, but that's, uh, that's the way I do things. So. Not dissimilar to now then. Yeah, exactly. How far did you get in the competition? How far did you come? Did you ever get to the, the chance to play someone like this? Uh, no, I was, I, again, I've been talking about this just recently, um, you know, it's uh, what it would have been like, because I remember playing at Cowden Road, um, which was the uh, old Coventry ground, and uh, at the time playing there in front of a few hundred people was just a massive occasion. I remember like being nervous, being really anxious to play, it being such a big day. To play out here in front of a, a decent crowd um, at schoolboy level would have just blown me away, I think. Um, you know, it's a real, real opportunity for those guys. Um, such, a, such a great, great thing to be able to do that. I don't know if I'd have been able to handle it. I think I'd have been a bit too much at that age.